Hello everyone and welcome back to Strategic Command World War One. As 1915 is really getting hot right now. Our Eastern Front situation is precarious. Now but we start to deal some damage to the Germans in the West. Start to force some movement there. Potentially some retreats from the east. Dro okay, that was a long hold. That is good. Our fortress is here doing what they need to do, which is really good news. Okay. Oh, that is interesting. Okay, we can invest into the Russians. We didn't lose too many forces there, which is good. Only one core this time. This is something that we can more than replace per turn. Okay. French. Gonna move some forces around. I kind of want to besiege Metz. Getting enough shells here. Tension four. Don't just want to walk in there. Okay. But let's start here. Okay, they have units on both. Okay. Um. Okay, we can attack Tripoli. Okay, here we could move on. Uh, what's Aleppo and Antep? Let's see. We have the artillery to do some real damage here. Oh, that's good. Move you forward. Move you around. Okay, we 
get into Gaza. We attack them in Jerusalem. Okay. These are some good attacks. Pushing these cavalry forces into the desert. Infantry weapons. This is a really good thing. Over here, we don't, can't give it to all our forces, but to some of the important ones. Vilnius. Get you entrenched first. Same with you. Let's get a front line in front of Minsk. Russian infantry. A decent level. This is working out. We could get a better general in here. It actually makes sense. Love needs his soldiers. Can we attach you here? Yeah, we love is our best general here, so. you here. Ugh. Otherwise this will get bloody. Okay, that doesn't work out. That's okay. March up further with the Italians. We could potentially just rush in there. It's Highly interesting, but not something we want to do right now. Mm. Getting close to Damascus. Ports are too well hold. And unfortunately, these here don't really count. But we, yeah, we open up some issues for the enemy here. 
Don't want to do any risky moves here. British, we need to get these guys over there. Question is, Red Sea or Persian Gulf? Mm. Red Sea is faster and also I believe the, the, the three units we have in the Persian Gulf are enough. If we could push faster through the Red Sea, that would be great. I mean, uh, these forces here go to mainland Europe. Um. Need better infantry warfare. And we need to get these guys over here. To help out once Belgian fall or Belgium falls. Is there any build up around here? No. Diplomacy, how are Norway three percent, Sweden? 28% okay, so still far from going anywhere near. You can rate them there. Uh, yeah, you're running out of supply, but that's fine. It is what it is there. We can't uh, get these guys up here. In oh, this one we can, right. That's good. And we can also afford to buy back a core here. French warfare is coming up. And we will need infantry weapons soon, but production technology here is quite important with the Russians as well. The Serbs. This coming up, that's good. Can they buy an artillery piece? Yes. Yes, they can. Let's save up for that artillery piece then. Well, research of the French. Country weapons is coming up. Artillery weapon is coming up. Let's go for aerial. We can get supremacy there. And if we already go for armored warfare, we might as well go for tanks. And then the final industrial research. Setting up for a push over here. A lot into research, but I believe with the French that's quite important. Because only technological advantage can lead to breakthrough here as we have the military but we don't have the forces to use them right now mm, uh, hit the front line to use them right now ottomans here starting to get broken Supply situation there in the desert is not great. Can 
we got the port back, so we can now put pressure on these guys. That cavalry unit ca can be annoying. They are getting close to the Moscow's will. Uh, most likely they got just gonna move the Haifa unit up here. But they're heavily outnumbered down there. So we have to save up. Italy. Kind of want to save up for it. Oh, I'm a totally piece as well with Italy. Without artillery, this will be a tough fight. Spain is doing Spain things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting getting the Belgians into a, the war will be important for these three extra lines of front line here. It will make the German situation in the West a lot harder. They don't want to attack Belgium directly. Don't want to give them to the Germans. If need be, we do that with the Netherlands. Like, if we need even extra front line, we could invade through the Netherlands. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's get Kreese into the Entente. Oh, more British. That works nice. And their submarine warfare is good. Armored warfare is good. Bench warfare. Yeah, armored warfare not too important yet. But we'll get support uh, important eventually. Yeah, getting crease into the war is good. Uh, can even potentially well not really, but putting more pressure on the Ottomans is important. Like we can't really use it for Serbia to uh, to, uh, to move units into Serbia and for attack there, I don't believe. But we can put pressure on to the Ottomans from there, which currently is our main goal. So that's it. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye and have a great day.